The porter reel is just what you needed. The reels attach to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is routed behind the magnetic reader. You press the large button marked Commencer and the tape starts spinning. There's a small delay before the song starts playing. Then the organ starts playing a simple, melancholic tune echoing in the hallway. A lone singing voice joins in, telling you about the tiniest church in Sessons, surrounded by even tinier yard. You almost feel the seaside mist on your skin. It's mega sad. Within seconds you know, this is the one, the real shit you've been looking for. The one you trust your room to that Classia told you about. Perform it. A click, then silence for a bit. Then the tape stops spinning. Of course you could sing this. You could take sad to a whole new level with this. And you already know the lyrics since you've listened to it like a million times. Yup, they're all here. All three verses. And the B-side of the tape contains the instrumental version. It's like the world itself is telling you to do it. Only one obstacle stands on your way. God, you have to convince God to let you sing karaoke in the whirling. After you've won him over, you can express yourself. Let the pain out. Make everyone understand. The lieutenant watches you pack up the boombox. He doesn't say anything. Can I help you? How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my stuff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. On Clinton Street, near the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck rattles down an alleyway. It stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container despondently. CSM is written on their backs. Thank you anyway. Yes? What is this thing? Okay, okay, well, this is actually a nice bird. A competent piece of taxidermy. Well, I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. So, I don't know. Thank you. I'm gonna go with thank you. People just don't know how to accept gifts. Especially taxidermy. He likes it. He likes the bird. It solves his broken bird problem. This was mostly about the fucking cardio. Massive cardio here. You'll live till 90, or you get a heart attack from running. I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. It's not actually about that. But he liked it. No, you don't. It's not happening. He tries not to look at you. It's dangerous to acknowledge the karaoke man. You need to approach this situation logically. Ask him why he has the PA system installed if you can't use it. It's for the... It's for no one. It's a prop. I'm not letting anyone use it after the great karaoke catastrophe of 44. A lot of people got killed because some arsehole wanted to sing karaoke. 
Okay, yes, it's for some clients. Ha! Well, we don't have any tapes. They all got stolen. He's lying. But whatever, you don't really need his lame tracks. The man in the vest and the violet shirt stares at the tape you've just given him. He begins to frown. Hard. This is the look of a man who's defeated. He knows he's out of excuses. Fine, fine. Climb on that stage and do your thing. Just get out of my hair. I'll plug it in for you. Damn this karaoke machine. I'm having it uninstalled, he mumbles to himself. Oh yeah, time to do the damage. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. You feel a little dizzy, a little unsteady suddenly. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. You feel a little dizzy, a little unsteady suddenly. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. I can see that. Immediately, a loud feedback noise startles the room. You feel like an amateur. How are you supposed to hold the mic? Should you just sing into it? Where should you stand? Hands. Where do you put your hands? Does someone feel like throwing up? I do. A little. There are some people out there, but mostly a post-meridian slumber has fallen on the premise. Not super lively. It would be wiser to perform in the evening, no? But the choice is yours. Yes, you can always do it in the evening. It will be less scary with a lot of people. The air is thick with anticipation. The tape clicks into the carousel and then the music starts. Often go there to the tiny church there, the smallest church in San San, though it once 
was larger. How the real may rest there. Down through the mist there. Toward the seven sisters. Toward those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there. In that tiny yard. So glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now you are all alone. None of this matters now. None of this matters at all. Not bad. Yes, not bad at all. No reply. There is silence now in the deep where the voice came from. It has receded into you to return only in dreams and nightmares. Okay, yes, I'm going to unplug the microphone so you can get off the stage now. The pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool, calm and collected. As your hand enters the pocket, your fingers brush against something. Soft, yet crinkly. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricots. You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. Not familiar in a good way, you might say. There's pain in there somewhere. By the way, the raw materials were most likely exported from Seagai, the apricot suzerainty, and processed in Sir Le Clay into the apricot-flavoured chewing gum loved by kids of today and yesterday. Mmm, something about it is familiar, and not only to your fingers.